My question is about manifesting things. I manifest things that I cannot use at that moment. <laughs> I'm inspired to want them. I think about them. I, I, I love how it feels. But then when they come into my existence, I can't use them. Well, we just want to say, and we'll talk about it because we want you to really feel the full clarification of it. But usually when that's happening a lot, you're manifesting from a lower disc. Manifestation happens. In other words, you didn't think manifestation just happens from the high flying disc. Manifestation is the result of momentum. So anything that you're giving attention to eventually will result in a manifestation. Right. And so if once it gets there, you could say, well, it was a clarifying experience and it's showing me that things come and that there's a path of least resistance. And so it's helpful in that way. But it just helps you become more discriminating about what you give your attention to. We're going to offer this to you softly because we don't want to upset any of you. But really, we don't care. <laughs> Because how you feel is really your deal. But a lot of manifesting is your effort to fill the void in the void of not being in alignment. In other words, if I buy that one more thing and bring it home or find that one more thing and bring it home, then I'll feel better. And you might feel better for a moment, but it doesn't last very long. And so the more time you spend on this high flying disc, the more richness you begin to feel in the rendezvous with thoughts and the rendezvous with nature and the rendezvous with humans and the rendezvous with ideas. And the things become less significant because they kind of just clutter your experience. You got to drag them around from place to place and insure them and dust them and all that stuff. And so <laughs> we're not trying to talk you out of your manifestations. We want you to have all of them. And we love it when the beautiful things that you desire are surrounding you. But we know for sure that from this high flying disc, your satisfaction will come from experiences other than possessing things. Mm -hmm. Um, the, I guess the most recent one was a, a dog. <laughs> um, I was inspired to, I wanted a dog, a, I guess like you said, to fill that void. It was a big ball of love and I guess I wanted that. But uh, I, about two weeks after I, manif I thought about this, I put the pictures on my computer, I, I knew I would love to have this dog. Two weeks later I got a text and said, this specific breed of dog, if you want it, you can have it. Came out of nowhere, but I'm not at a place where I rent, we can't have animals. And so my friend said, well, why don't you manifest a house first? <laughs> but so, yeah. <laughs> well, that's sort of what we were talking about, right, isn't it? Right. It's, it's sort of like getting your house before your dog. Yes. The cart before the horse. Right, the right. So, so? So if I put my focus on anything, it'll come into my existence. But I, is there an order to it? Well. Is there a, like? <laughs> well, what happens is. We used to tell a story about, so you're living in a house and there's not much view and there are things about where you're living that you don't care for. And so you don't like the lack of view, so you want the view and you don't like the dryness of it, so you want more greenery and, and so forth. And so you manifest this magnificent house that has the things that you've been asking for. And now that you're in the house, after you're there for a little while, you realize it doesn't have enough closets mm -hmm. or maybe it doesn't have a kitchen. It doesn't have some of the other things that it has the things that you thought about most. So what we're really saying to you is that your desires never stop coming. Right. And that if you wait until you're really sure that you're on the high flying disc before you follow through with the inspired action, that high flying disc has already got everything in alignment and it will come in a progressive order that you won't be tripping over one. You got it. Because as you've been living life and putting things into the vortex, it's been gathering the cooperative components and a perfect unfolding has already been defined. Mm -hmm. So when you make your way 
to that vibration that allows that perfect unfolding to unfold in your experience then it unfolds in the way that is most comfortable but having said all of that we mean that we know it for sure mm -hmm. but having said all of that we don't ever want you to feel like you got to get everything just right first crack out of the box in other words sure. it's a wonderful thing to have clarifying experiences sure. it's really fun to mold this clay it's really fun because the clay that you're molding is through your thoughts and it's mm. it's fun to have experiences mm. exactly what this dog was it was more of a test to see how quickly it would come depending on how much focus well, i put well, on let that us ask thing. you let us ask you another question do you think you're really going to like this do you think that a house is in your vortex absolutely so you think it's been in there for a while yes so do you think that now you found this dog that you know you want mm -hmm. do you think it's caused a clarification about the desire of the house to come to the surface yes. in a more emphatic way yes absolutely so are you telling us that just the idea of having this dog is causing you to focus with more deliberateness about the attraction of something else that you want yes a woman said I to us one day almost the same story well, a little different but this is the point that we want you to hear she'd been living in an apartment complex that she really did not like she didn't like much about it but she was putting up with it because it was just easier to be there than to move and there were a lot of things about it that were unpleasant to her and she had this wonderful cat who lived there with her and then one day the apartment complex changed owners and new law came down from above that said no pets you have this much time to do something about that so she began hiding her cat <laughs> walking in the middle of the night putting clips on the curtain so that the cat couldn't stick its head out and expose itself <laughs> to people and it just was too difficult so she moved into a place that she liked so much better and we said we weren't willing to move for yourself but you'll move for your cat <laughs> in other words once she had that clarifying experience mm -hmm. then it helped her to find the path of least resistance to something that was so much more pleasing to her on so many other levels you see yep what were your opening words to us just now um, i keep manifesting I manifest things and i when they come into my existence i can't use them there's always something I manifest things i can't use <laughs> i'm manifesting things i can't use what could possibly be the reason for that would you say that another way of saying that is i think about things i don't want that's not quite the same thing but that's an interesting statement sometimes do you think about things you don't want for a short period of time sometimes do you think you want things that you really don't want is that what you're saying maybe on a another level i maybe don't want them so it's not that you're manifesting things that you don't want or need it's just that the order of them is sort of jacked up right right <laughs> sure uh, i have another example um it was a job I, I saw the job i knew it was for me it fit everything fit i got a call back um and then I called the guy back and I no response everything stopped and I just it was done but when I was saw the job it, I knew I was compelled to act on that but then it just stopped so what all of this is calling from us this is a really important thing to understand it isn't what happened because nothing's ever done sure. and you didn't get it wrong yep. it's what do you do now exactly where do your thoughts go about it now yes so where would your thought usually go when you got excited there was momentum you got a call back and then it didn't go where did your thoughts go and what was the emotion did you call it one of disappointment once i realized it wasn't going to happen it was disappointment so to continue to think about that which you already know makes you feel disappointed right. how does that fit in with reaching for the high flying disc don't think about it doesn't fit at all does it no. so the question that we're wanting to put to you in a way that you, you'll think about it as things like this happen is is it more important to you to try to solve the problem or to continue the momentum or is it more important to you to find the high flying disc this is an interesting quandary that you all must find yourselves in on a pretty regular basis because you're accustomed to the momentum of action and behavior and so 
that action and behavior momentum would call one answer forth. I didn't get the job, so I should dig back in and I should apply more and I should make more phone calls and I should try harder and I should, but that's behavior that is perpetuating a vibration that isn't serving you. And yet to most humans, it doesn't feel right to just get on the high flying disc when there are things that you think that you should be doing. And we think we've made the point as clearly as we've ever made it, certainly as long and often as we've ever made it, <laughs> to just for a little while, try to get on that high flying disc and then watch what happens. And when the job comes that you really want, oh, you'll make the connection. And Got when it. you're living happily ever after with that dog in that <laughs> house, you'll make the connection. All kinds of things can happen. You have no idea how flexible the universe is in yielding to you all of the components of your desire. And you'll make yourself nuts. In fact, you have been making yourself nuts by trying to manage it all from a manifestational standpoint to experience the leverage of this high flying disc you're going to understand what we've been saying all along from the first word that you ever heard from us because everything that we've been telling you is about this you've already done the step one work and source has already lined up the path of least resistance and it's not just a path of least resistance it's a path of joyful expansion it's a really fun really exhilarating path so when you relax into those thoughts Esther has some dashboard plaques that they have created. When you look at them, you can't read them because it's all backwards and jumbled. But when you lay it on the dashboard of your car and it reflects up into the window so you can read it back, it says, things are always working out for me. <laughs> things are yep. always working out for me. Things are always working out I've for me. I've got that note in my bathroom. <laughs> things are always working out for me. Things yep. are always working out for me. So it's incorrect to say, I attract things I don't need because you've attracted clarification that you did need. Yep. Things are always working out for me. Doesn't matter where I stand, doesn't matter how it looks, doesn't matter what others think about where I'm standing, doesn't even matter how I'm perceiving where I'm standing. The truth of it is, it's always working out for you. And if you can find some way of looking for the evidence of it working out for you now, then it's going to feel good now on its way to where you think it needed to be before it was worked out. Humans keep thinking that it has to manifest. I have to have the house and the dog, then it will have worked out. No, things are working out. It worked yeah. out that the dog came first because it made you want to add some clarification about the house. Sure. So what do you think? You like that? <laughs> yep. We've enjoyed this interaction more than we can explain to you through words. So we've decided to just assist you in demonstrating the paradigm shift that you've accomplished in the hours that we've been together. So rather than just telling you how much we love you and telling you how good it's going to be, just watch what happens next. Watch what happens next. Move forward with expectation of improvement in every area of your experience. And as they begin coming, and they will, these moments of awareness, stop for a moment and just acknowledge what happened here in this vibrational resetting of your point of that, point of that, point of that.